What's going on, everybody? It is Fantastic Friday. Super excited to be here with my absolute favorite guest. And now I can say not only guest. So oh, there that? you go. It's legitimately, you are my favorite. Just don't tell anybody else. It's not like <laughs> enough people watch my channel anyway. It's your favorite so, Friday guest. I got it. I understand. <laughs> no, I think probably more than that. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Mike Zuber, one rental at a time. How's it going, my friend? It's going great, man. How are you? I'm, I'm doing awesome, honestly. Um, quick update on Eliana. She started chemo yesterday. Um, and so she's doing really well. Um, you know, chemo's rough, especially what she's going through. But she'll be back home uh, tomorrow. I've got the older kids. Um, and so the wife and baby are back home tomorrow from Boston. We're about an hour outside of there. And so... Thank you very much, everyone, for your thoughts and prayers. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate each and every single one. So they mean a lot and they've done a lot for our family. Do me a favor, folks. You will be seeing on this on my channel Saturday morning. Uh, once again, let's blow up the comments with well wishes and thoughts and that. prayers. Appreciate uh, that. Last time we did this together, folks, we got over 300. Yeah. Let's beat that. Yeah. Uh, let's just keep yeah. the positive thoughts going. So um, glad to hear that. Glad she's yeah. coming home. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, when you're in the hospital having this stuff done to somebody else and you're the caregiver, there are a lot of hours available, a lot mm. of hours available where you're just trying to you know, wade it through. So <sighs> my wife is doing a lot of those. She she's the one where it really defaults to her because my sadly, my bot my daughter won't take a bottle. And so that takes me out of the equation. Just pure anatomy. Yeah, I don't she's, I don't she's... identify as being able to breastfeed her. Yeah, she's 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 five months, right? Yeah, six five months. months. Five months. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, she's no, six I'm, months I'm, and two weeks. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. But on to bigger and yeah, let's do this. Yeah, good, good, good luck transitioning <laughs> out of that. You know, unhappy so, thoughts. So, Mike, one of the things. So, you and I, we don't we don't live on Gary V, but we take a lot of data inputs, right? So yeah. we watch, we listen to a lot. Um, you know, Gary V definitely has a certain segment of the market for mm -hmm. sure. Um, and so one of the things that we had talked about, it was kind of interesting was really kind of the concept of stepping back to go forward. I think so yeah. often people are not willing to give up a beachhead because they've gotten the beachhead, right. And they're not yeah. willing to necessarily prune in order to grow. So what, what does that really mean to you kind of, kind of build your thought process around yeah. that? Well, this is really, this is really coming together for me. I think it's something you, I, and Dion need to, to work on. And I don't know what it becomes just yet, but you know, you introduced house hacking, you did that, um, you know, basically you kind of reconciled how that first 20 K became a lot more, mm -hmm. uh, than, you know, Dion's done that Todd Baldwin's done that for me. I interviewed a 29 year old who's, who's on Instagram. I'm just getting more and more data points about how powerful house hacking is either yes. the traditional house hacking, meaning units like two, three, four, or in some cases people are doing roommates, mm -hmm. which either it is or isn't for you. No judgment. Right. But sure. I'm starting to see the power in house hacking and I really want to challenge people and somebody in my group today, right? Our private group that we're in is like, I had to talk my wife into it. I'm just giving you the example. It could have easily been the other way, but you know, I had to talk my spouse into it and uh, excuse me, I get my, oh, bless you. That's what happens when you do these live. <laughs> so right. uh, they had to talk their spouse into buying a duplex or a quad. So they sold their expensive house mm -hmm. and bought a duplex. Nice. And the comment was after a year, it's the best thing we've ever done financially. Yeah. Because yep. even if you can't live for free, you will live on less. Right? right. And again, I thought Dion brought it up so well yesterday, the stupid latte factor, right? Oh, yeah. stop buying lattes at Starbucks and save five bucks a day. It's 300 bucks a, a month. And oh, suddenly you're a millionaire. No, yeah. go tackle the biggest expense. And for most yes. of us, that's the house. That's right. I thought that was, I mean, sometimes he, Dion just slides these little like, <laughs> You know, these things that there's like, Dion, you have no idea how powerful that is. Yeah. And that's where I was yesterday. And again, as I mentioned off camera yesterday, I was going to go for a six mile run. And I just, I just put Gary V's channel on play. Cause sometimes you just need that, especially yeah. on a long run. Right. He's just in your face. He kind of speaks to guys, right. He's swearing and all of that stuff. But um, I just think there's something there. You got to sacrifice. You got to go backwards to go forward. And I want to challenge a lot of people, right? So a, if you're younger and you're just a renter house hack, it's kind yes. of a no brainer, yes. but dude, even if you're 30, like I was or 35 or 45, have you ever done the math? Let's right. just challenge yourself to do the math, sell the thing, sell the house you're in and go buy a quad mm -hmm. and, you know, get uncomfortable for a while. Yes. And it's, I mean, just think about it, right? You sell a house. It's got a bunch of equity. Uh, you, you can take it tax-free up to 500 grand if you're married. I mean, talk That's about right. a gift from the IRS. 
Yep. You go get a three and a half percent down on a on a quad or a five percent down on a quad. Oh, I mean, you have all this capital. I mean, just think about what you could do. You could have all the capital tax free or a lot. You mm-hmm. can get into a cheap loan. You live you live cheaper, right? You're not spending yes. three grand or whatever on a mortgage. You're living on a thousand or eight hundred or five or zero. Yep. I just think more people just what I want to tell people on my channel, folks, is even if you can't or you won't ever consider it, I want you to do something this weekend. I want you to do the math. Yes. I want you to sell your home, theoretically. I want you to tell you how much you're walking away with. I want you to appreciate how much is tax free. Mm-hmm. And then I want you to go find out what a quad costs in a nice neighborhood where you live, right? If you're here, live here, but go see what a quad costs and do the math. Yep. I think so many people would be. So, and again, just think about that, right? You're 35 years old. You're living paycheck to paycheck. It's because your house is so expensive. That's right. Sell it. Put all this money in the bank. Go get a quad. Live for nothing. I mean, th- there's something here, man. I don't, I don't know what it is yet. It's still like you and Dion and Todd Baldwin mm. and now Gary V is just like beating on my head. There's something we got to make people realize. So that's that's where I'm at this morning. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, for us, you know, interest of full disclosure, my very first hack was actually with a roommate. It was a yeah. roommate in my own in my own unit, and without him paying a thousand dollars a month rent, I couldn't buy the the condo I bought. Couldn't afford it. Yeah. So being able to add, I think it was 80% at the time, being able to add 80% of that 800 bucks a month to my income, the ability to pay the mortgage, that's what helped me get that deal done. But when I saw how well that worked for an individual place, yeah. I then thought, wow, this can actually really some, work. Some is good, more is better. Yeah, this can really work if we start looking at more units. But for me, I knew that I didn't, I was way out of the game for being able to buy commercial stuff, understanding commercial loans, commercial debt, all the rules of insurance around it, all the reset rates, not way, way, way too overwhelming, way too much. But that one, that two to four, like I said, I still believe that that's going to be the best asset class in most markets over the next five years. I think you're right. And again, I just hit me. uh, One of the, one of the um, real estate investors I I looked at, I think I've looked it twice is Arnold Schwarzenegger of all people, right? The, the movie star and former governor of California. What most people don't realize is the reason he was able to, to be very picky and selective about his acting career is the first thing he bought because of his bodybuilding money was a sixplex. He house hacked a sixplex yeah. in Southern California. And I've actually got the picture somewhere. But again, if you just I, do the math, folks, I, again, think about it. Put Go to Zillow, figure out what your house is worth, sell it fictitiously yeah do the t- subtract your mortgage see how much tax see how much money you have then go figure out a fourplex in your neighborhood don't move i mean don't move away right. in your neighborhood and do the math i want to see i bet most of you end up with hundreds of thousands of dollars in extra cash mm-hmm. and you live on less it is going to be magical do the math this weekend imagine being arnold's tenant <laughs> and yes. having to and having yeah, to tell Arnold at 29 like yeah. biceps of a freaking a foot and a half yeah I'm gonna pay rent no problem yeah, exactly. rent my door off the handle yeah, exactly I might be a little you know what never mind never mind I'll, I'll be yeah no problem I Here's will the, go I'll pay I'll early sell some blood yeah <laughs> yeah, I'll sell, yeah I'll exactly I'll be there a couple days early yeah yeah Mike I think honestly people have to do the math make it a make it make that help Helping do doing the math helps you make the decision. Do it this weekend. Don't, yeah. don't play around. This People weekend, have do it to. and post it below. And you can, and right now with what some of the rules are, you are able to move as simple as a town away, or if you live in a big town, across town, mm-hmm. you can do stuff like that and still get approved even going single family to four. Yeah. yeah. Just find the vendors, find a, find the right mortgage company that's going to do that for you. It's, yeah, just, it's, let's do the math this weekend. Folks, yes. I think a lot of you would be shocked at how much, a lot of you are stressed financially. It's because yes. your house is too expensive. As Gary yes. V says, sell that stuff. He uses a different word than stuff. Yeah, he does. And uh, then buy a fourplex. Just do the math. Yep. I think so many people would be, oh my God, life gets easy or life gets easier when you're yeah. not stressed about the payments. I mean, do the math this weekend. Leave comments below. I want to hear some of you are going to have hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's right. And live on less. Let's see. Yeah. Mike, I think that's great. Tell everybody where they can find you, my friend. One rental at a time.com book on Amazon, Instagram, YouTube. It's all there for you. He literally is everywhere. I try. He is, he is not omnipotent, but he, no, he is omnipotent. 
but not omniscient. So, Those are yeah. two words I don't know. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Ninth Grade Dropout. <laughs> I think they were a calendar of word of the day. So oh, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. probably <laughs> at one point or another. So like I always say, guys, we like to have a lot of fun here, but we spend a lot of time looking at topics, making sure to understand how it's going to help you guys out. Please make sure you subscribe, obviously, LumberjackLandlord.com, Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube. But 11.30 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday, we will do a, not a four-hour go live stream. We will not be doing a four-hour live stream. Dion and Mike are challenging me to do a four-hour live stream, and I had to put my eyeballs back in my head after two and a half. So it will not be that long. But you thanks, guys. It. You always got for, it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thanks, guys, always for watching. We'll go in segment two. Thanks, Mike.